Today I'm going to show you how to make a Facebook cover photo with a little bit of text on it. So I'm just going to use PicMonkey, it's really simple and easy, so just watch where I click and you'll be able to follow along. First I'm going to create a collage. I'm going to make it with, say, four photos in a row. And I'm going to set the size here at 851. Might, might have to do it a little bit, a couple of times. By 265 and lock it. I'm going to have to go back. 851 by 265 and lock it in shape. So that's how we're going to start it. Um, I also like my spacing to be a little bit smaller between the photos. I don't quite like it that big. I usually like it to be about five. And then we're going to go and pop the photos into the space here. I'm just going to use the standard photos, but if obviously you upload your own into this spot here. So you just drag them over. Um, and then you can position the photos where you like them to be. You might need to resize them before you put them into so that started that part. Then I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to save it straight to my desktop. There's Facebook cover. And then I'm going to start PicMonkey again. So I just refresh the page because we've done a collage and now I'm actually going to edit that photo. So I'm going to bring it back up off my desktop. Um, there it is there. And I'm just going to add a few features to it because what I want to do is pop some text along the bottom here. So there's a few steps to take. First, I'm going to add a border and I will use Simple Edge and I'm going to make it exactly 50. And I want it to be white. Apply. So it's got a big border around here, but I'm going to crop it. Crop. And I'm just dragging it to to fill. This is where we want it to be the exact size that Facebook needs it to be. So the exact size is 851, and it's by 315. So that's giving me the exact size for Facebook. Apply. That's a perfect fit. Um, so I want to pop some text down the bottom, it's really easy, so we're adding the text button, I might use any of these fonts here, I'm going to write Katrina Chambers, add, so here it comes, I'm going to make it black, a bit smaller to fit, and I'm going to drag it into the spot. It's done. You can have whatever you like across here, but always keep in mind in this exact spot here, your cover photo, uh, sorry, your little avatar will sit over the top of it. So just make sure that you don't put too much here of your photos or anything. So that's really simple. I'm going to save it. Back to my desktop. And it's done. And then I can load it straight into Facebook.